Hi guys, this YouTube tutorial is going to be on marker um, lost and found. I got a request from someone, so I said I'd go ahead and do it. If you guys have other YouTube tutorials that you'd like me to create, just let me know and I'll, I'll try my best to create them. So, the purpose of this tutorial, so I'm going to show you what I have. Um, the setup for the playmaker action is as follows. So, on the one with the sphere on the right, what I have is I have a playmaker FSM, and what it does is on marker so when the marker is found it will move to state 2 and it will change its color to purple when the tracking is lost so when the marker is removed it will go back to its original color but it's manipulating the cubes color on the other marker okay so this is for because it makes no sense for us to have the tracking lost and found on the current marker unless you're doing like animations or starting a game or something like that so this is just a quick little demo okay. So if you press play, you can see that we have two markers, okay? This one with the sphere, if we get rid of it, goes back to its color, and if we change it back, it goes purple. Okay? So let's go ahead and make a new scene. I'll quickly save this one. And So what we need is we need to go ahead and go into the Qualcomm prefabs. We need the AR camera and two image targets. Now we can delete the main camera. I'm using these stones and chips data set. Okay. I'm quickly going through these because um, I do them in all my YouTube tutorials so hopefully by now you guys know how to quickly set it up and the other thing is you need to make sure your max target is set to more than one if it's only set to one then only one mark can be tracked at a time and that's what's going to cause an error in RFSM because you'll have two markers in the scene and then you're wondering why it isn't working and you're going to drive yourself nuts you need to have it set to more than one Okay, so on this one let's just create a cube, drag that in, and we'll make a sphere. Yeah, mess it up. So, uh, let's set that one, let's move them around. It doesn't really make a difference, but for the sake of following the example. So that's a default setup for the markers, and let's just hit play to make sure it's displaying correctly. And we need to add in a directional light. Cool. So the next thing you need to do is in the Playmaker Euphoria package, the um, links to these packages will be provided in the description. So you need to drag in the Playmaker Proxy. What this does here is, if you look under Events, it has Euphoria Tracking Lost and Euphoria Tracking Found. These work the same as sort of Mouse Up, Mouse Down events, okay, or transitions rather. So they're not actions; they're events. Okay. Then on the image target, what you need to do is you need to drag in a. So this one is a proxy script, so that's tracking loss and found. You need the trackable proxy script, and you drag that onto the image target that you want to track. Okay, so these two, this, okay, you do not have to alter or change. You just drag it out, and only one per scene. It then goes ahead and talks to this script here that you drag on top of your image target, which allows your FSM then to use and tracking loss and found. So if we then have this set up, we then add a new FSM. If we go on add transition and then on our custom events you'll have Euphoria and you only have tracking found and tracking loss. So if we go tracking found, add a new state, 
and call it tracking lost. Just connect them up. Then under actions, if you type in color, go under set material, go specify, drag the cube in, click the little drop thing and click on its original color. You can then copy the selected action and then paste it. Yep, this is all set up and then all you need to do is pick whatever color you'd like. This area here I wouldn't worry too much about. Um, I have no idea why that comes up. It seems to come up when you drag in the uh, Fourier proxy. Okay. Cool. I'm actually doing that now. Um, okay, so I hit play. And there it is working away. Cool. So hopefully that shows you guys how to create a basic um, setup for a marking lost and marking found. If you guys have more you tutorials that you'd like me to do, as I said, just inbox me or um, post a comment and I'll try my best to get onto it. I hope this has been helpful to you guys and I'll see you in the next tutorial.